Jack from B&T McFarland. Today we're going over the Z400 from Kubota, so let's get into it. Behind me here is the Z400 series from Kubota. It comes in a couple different configurations that we're going to get into, but it is one of the most popular zero turns that we actually sell here at B&T McFarland, and it's going to be geared towards someone who has a little bit more heavy duty residential application, and then a light, lighter duty commercial application. We tend to see this go to customers who have about two and a half to maybe six, seven acres of lawn to mow on a weekly basis, or if you're a newer uh, lawn mowing company and you're looking to get a good piece of equipment that'll last you for years to, to come, then we do see a lot of people go with the Z400 series as well. So to just start off with a quick overview of the zero turn lineups from Kubota, you do have the Z200 series and that's gonna be on a little bit smaller frame size and that's gonna be geared towards a purely residential customer who just has their own personal property to mow. And then this, you have the Z400 series. This is gonna be your semi-residential, semi-commercial model like I mentioned, geared towards the more adventurous homeowner and then a first time, maybe a newer lawn mowing business. And then going up, you have the Z700 series and that's gonna be a little bit bigger than the Z400, but it's gonna be geared towards only commercial guys or super adventurous residential users. And then you can jump up in your Kubota diesel lines and that's generally what we see to go to municipalities and some more well-established lawn mowing companies. Inside of the Z400 series, you have a couple different options. You can get it with a 48 inch deck, 54 inch deck, and like this one here, you can get it with a 60 inch deck. That is the biggest option for this uh, series. You can get it with a couple different kits on the deck as well. You can get a mulching kit on the side of it, and then you can also get a rear bagger on it. There's no option for a rear discharge mower on this model. I'm up here on the operator's platform and it is very comfortable. This customer, he did opt for the suspension seat, so that is an upgrade on the Z421 as well as the Z411. There is another model within the Z400 series, the Z422 and 412. We don't really see a whole lot of them because the biggest difference is gonna be an included suspension seat, but for the most part, we find it a little bit easier if you can add it down the road. Other than that, it's more or less a pretty standard zero turn up here on the operator's platform. You have your parking brake over here, and then you have your deck height adjust, as well as your choke, throttle, PTO. Over on my left-hand side, you do have a cup holder with a 12-volt charger. And then the, the neat thing is the K-lift system that actually raises and lowers the mower deck. So you press this button in, you can lower down the mower deck to its height, and then up here, you can actually dial it in every quarter of an inch to get the exact height of lawn that you want. So right there, we'll set it to two and a half. And then you press the button, and then you can lower your deck just that easily, and then push it in again, and it locks up. The Z400 series, it does have a commercial motor on it. So the 54 and 60 inch deck options come with a 24 horsepower Kawasaki motor. If you opt for the 48 inch deck, you do get the 22 horsepower Kawasaki. All these engines, they're more than enough power to run these mowers, whether you be mulching or bagging or anything like that, you should never suffer from power loss on this mower. As well, the, the transmission, it is a completely commercial hydro gear transmission, which is awesome. It makes the hydrostatic feel of the zero turn unbelievable while you're actually using this. As well, the reliability from that hydro gear is exceptional, especially paired with the Kawasaki motor. Coming across the mower like this, there's just one little latch you pop and you actually have access to all your belts and pulleys for the deck. There's one belt that goes through all these pulleys, so if you ever have to change that, it makes it very, very easy to do so. To actually take the mower deck off, there's only four pins that hold it up, so if you ever need to slide this out and wash it off after a season or change any of the blades, you can do that. Next up, we have to talk about the price on this mower. So they range from about 8,700 all the way to just over the $10,000 mark if you get the 60 inch model. Depending on options too, that can bring the price up or down depending on what you choose. In terms of, it, of availability, we actually have a decent amount of stock on all of these models right now, all the way from the 48, 54 and 60 inch options. So if you wanna come down and take a look at one of these models, we'd be happy to assist you down here at P&T McFarland. And as always, thank you for watching. And if you need uh, help with parts, sales or service, Give us a call at 613-225-0555. Thank you.